All right, guys, this is going to be a relatively short video. I picked this item up while I was in Cambodia, and I'm in Thailand now, and I never got to use it, and I actually was going to use it in the swimming pool, and I probably will do another video while I'm here <clears throat> using this in the swimming pool. But this is what I picked up. I don't know why this is supposed to be locked. Anyways, this is the DJI Pocket Waterproof Case. Pocket 2 Waterproof Case. So I'm going to the beach and I'm going to attempt to use this. Now I have put the Pocket 2 in here, but I've never submerged it in water. So <laughs> let's find out. It's going to be pretty hard to try and videotape this. I do have my original DJI Osmo 1 or 2. I believe it's number 2. But I don't want to take it to the beach because it can get stolen. And there's cabanas you can re rent, but they're quite a ways from the water. And I was told you can rent them for 100 baht. But if you leave your stuff there, they're not responsible for it. So everything that I take, I'll be taking into the water. I have not bought a dry bag. I was going to buy a dry bag. They're roughly 30 bucks, 35 bucks here. But I think I'm about to end my stay in Southeast Asia. I don't know. I'm debating on whether to stay one more month. If I do, it won't be here. It'll be go back to it will be to go to Bali or go to the Philippines. I really don't want to go home, but I think I need to go home. I, I just don't know. Anyways, that's a different video subject. And by the time you see this, I might as well might as well, I might be in the, the U.S. by then. Sorry, I'm, I'm my train of thought. I have issues with that. Anyways, so we're headed to the beach right now. We're going to try out this product as well as see the beach and the ladies and the boats and, you know, the atmosphere, the environment. So let's go. All right, headed to the beach. Where I'm staying at is the Bay Central. If the camera's wobbly, I can't lock it, can't tilt lock it, because I don't have this piece on the camera to allow me to do that. I could actually put it on now, not thinking, but I put it up so I wouldn't lose it. But this is a pretty nice combo, uh, condo. It's called the Base Central. And of course, the camera's locked, so I can't show you the view. Uh, it's on some tracking bullshit. Excuse my language. Anyways, it's a nice place. And we're headed to the beach. The beach is a two block walk, including walking through my condo. So, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So when I mean a two block walk, that's the street there then cross the street one block and you're at the beach it's a long block so from there to the condo is equal equals a block so that's why I say two block walk I'm not gonna bore you with the walk especially since I want to have space on this memory card to actually film the beach So I'm going to stop it here and resume when we get to the beach. All right, I lied. I said I wasn't going to film until we get to the beach, but I just wanted to show you. So that's the Hilton over there. Had lunch over there today. Try not to get hit. Then we cross the street here. And this is the walkway to the beach. It reminds me, I think I said this in another video, of Waikiki, where I stayed in Waikiki. I was literally two blocks from the beach, long blocks like this. The Cheesecake Factory would have been to my right, and my hotel would have been behind me, one block, just like the condo um, when I stayed in Waikiki. It was a great location, had a side uh, room with a partial ocean view. Um, and it was an all next to the nightlife and the mall where the Cheesecake Factory, if anybody knows where that is. So this reminds me of that uh, area there. Okay, so now I'll resume when I get to the beach. You hear that in the background? I don't know if that's a bird or a monkey. 
someone please comment. I haven't asked any of the locals, but it wakes me up in the morning um, quite loud because there's one in the uh, condo building, which leads me to believe it's a, a bird, not a monkey, because I don't think any monkeys would be there. And this is a rural era, I mean a populated area, but I saw monkeys in populated areas and Cambodia and I didn't even know there were monkeys in Cambodia so yeah anyways see you when we get to the beach okay so we're at the end of the block coming up to the beach and I'm gonna be going to one of those cordoned off areas over there right now it's time to play Frogger and cross the street without getting hit <sighs> sprained my ankle the other day Bro, you see me taking a camera and you're gonna try and sell me a package. Anyways, so I'm gonna go to one of these cordoned off areas over here. As soon as I can find a path where there's people there who will hopefully not let anyone take anything of mine. Now, in the Philippines I had a wet bag. In Cambodia I didn't have to worry about it because I wasn't in a beach or by any beaches. So I didn't bring anything that if anyone took, I would get upset about them taking, which would be a towel and a t-shirt. It's the only thing I'm leaving on the beach. Everything else is going to the water. I have my dry case for my phone, my snorkel equipment, minus the fins, and obviously the camera's going in the water because we're doing a review on this Osmo Pocket 2 waterproof case. So we're at the beach. This is my first time being in the water here. I've been here for five days and I haven't been in the water yet. One of the reasons why I came here was to enjoy some of the activities that I enjoyed in the Philippines. I'm thinking about staying another week or more because there's those islands in the background, the snorkeling tours, as well as I haven't seen the elephants, which I'm trying to do tomorrow, which means I'm gonna have to upload some of these videos. So let's start this video now. So, cool. All right, let's start quickly with the components. You have the outside harder case. You've got the waterproof lens cover got the locking mechanism that locks it in place you got this plastic piece that goes inside here which allows the camera not to move and be able to be used in this uh, case by using these buttons so what I have to do is put this piece on which will allow me to tilt lock it so right now now that I have that I am going to bend it to the angle I think it is. And okay, tilt lock. No. All right, let me figure this out really quick. I did it before, but now I'm having difficulty. All right, so I believe I got it. You have to put it on tilt, tilt it to the angle, and you put it all in. Um, maybe I'll do a follow-up video and add it on the end of what I actually did when I'm at the apartment, when I can set up my other Osmo and connect it to the phone. But as you can see, the screen here, it's facing down, and I'm being able to videotape. Or you can see that at the angle, I'm being able to record what's in front of me without the camera being um, obstructed by the pieces inside of this actual unit. So now that I have that, I'm going to put my phone in the case, that piece in the case. And get in the water, check it out. All right. My life has always been like this, Darwin. What, what, what can go wrong will go wrong. So I'm trying not to drop 
my phone because I was not able to turn it on inside of the case, which in the Philippines it worked perfectly. You could actually hear sound. But as you can see, it is fully waterproof. No water has leaked inside. I have been underwater, as you'll see in the video. And yeah, this is a good pro uh, product. Now I don't have a lanyard, so I don't plan on actually swimming out deep far out there because I don't want to risk losing my camera as well as the case and there's no floating. So this you can buy the accessory for the floating as well as the lanyard. But I can get a lanyard here but I don't have a clue. So anyways, again, submerged under the water. Fill it out. No water's in. Camera works fine. I'm happy. I'll be using this on the snorkel trip. I lost the valve to my um, scuba diving camera where you put your phone in. Uh, order another piece when I get back to the States. I could have gotten it delivered to the Philippines, but it would take a long time to get there. I should have had it sent to Cambodia. I did not. Oh, well, I probably could get it sent here. It is coming from China or Korea, I believe China. Probably be here in a week, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna enjoy some of this water and just relax. The sun's about to go down in an hour or so. I'm gonna get ready after I take a swim, go out and enjoy some of this nightlife.